G'day friends, it's Andrew Goodall here again from Nature's Image Photography and in this video I'm going to show you how to refine your single area autofocus on the Panasonic Lumix G9. Before we start I would love it if you could click on that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you're a regular viewer and you really appreciate the time I put into creating these videos well now you can show your support in the nicest possible way by buying me a coffee. You'll find out how using the link in the details below. This topic of the single area autofocus is something I've already touched on in a couple of earlier videos but usually as a small part of a longer story. Now and then I still get questions like this one among my comments so I decided it was time to finally take a dedicated look at how to refine your single area autofocus. So as you probably know there are a number of autofocus area modes that you can access using the function 1 button on the back of the G9. To get the best control over what we focus on we often like to use the smallest focus point possible so that the camera can get past all the distractions and focus exactly where we want it to. So at first glance it seems like pinpoint autofocus must be the way to go. But I have some major issues with that screen pop-up which I won't go into now because I've already made a video about that and I'll put the link in the description. So the one I prefer is the single area focus. The trouble is you might like your focus area to be nice and small like this but by default when you first select single area focus it probably looks more like this and of course the larger that focus area is the harder it becomes to define what you want to focus on. Now it's very easy to sort this out however I have to be honest and admit that I couldn't figure it out myself at first and I had to get another G9 user to show me how it's done and of course like most things on the G9 it's simple once you know how. You actually have two options for controlling the focus area. The first one I'll show you is using the dials on the camera. First make sure you have it selected from your F1 options. Then whenever you need to make a change start by touching the screen to let's say wake things up. As long as those four little arrows are showing the focus area is active and now you can make it larger and smaller by turning the rear dial on the back of the camera as you can see me doing here. You can also move the focus area around using the little joystick button. Touch it in any direction and it moves just one space. Hold it down and you can move it quickly across the screen. The same goes for the rear arrow wheel so you can use whichever option feels most comfortable for you. And when you want to return it to the center of the screen just touch the display reset prompt on the bottom left of the screen. The second option is to do it entirely using the touch screen. Simply touch it with one finger and you can drag the focus point anywhere you want in the frame. Touch the screen with two fingers and now you can enlarge or minimize the focus area much the same way as enlarging an image on a smartphone. Again you can return it to the center anytime by touching display reset. And wherever you leave it that's where it will stay. So having centered and minimized my focus area if I turn the camera off I know when I turn it back on it will work just the way I want it. Okay we're almost done but there are a couple of other points I want to show you before I finish. First up as a photography teacher I've seen some other mirrorless cameras with a notorious design flaw whereby every time your eye goes to the viewfinder your nose touches the screen and moves the focus point around. Well that won't happen on the G9 because you can set it to automatically switch off the screen whenever your eye gets near the viewfinder. You have to select the right setting on the function 3 button but once you do it does a great job of eliminating that problem. Inevitably you will find that sometimes the focus point mysteriously moves to the wrong spot due to some unintentional touch of the screen. Here it's hiding behind the red M in the top left corner. But don't forget all you have to do is touch the screen and then hit display reset to quickly return it to the center. And finally, and I've had to dip into the archives for this next clip, you can also use these same methods for the custom multi autofocus area mode. You can easily increase or reduce the number of focus points and move them around for even greater control over your focus area. And that's my look at refining your single area autofocus with a little look at the custom multi autofocus as well. If you're just getting to know your G9 or if you've just been struggling to get it to focus where you want it to, I hope you found something useful in this video. Before you go be sure to subscribe and if you really think I've earned it you can buy me a coffee using the link below. I'm Andrew Goodall, this is Nature's Image Photography, thanks for watching.